a major hack takes place and 3 million EOS tokens are stolen. And people start talking about this being an inside job. So how did this hack happen and will EOS be able to stop these coins from being sold? Well all of that I'm going to talk about in this video. But first of course I need to say I'm back. I sorry I didn't post, I'm sorry I didn't post any videos Thursday and Friday. I was actually sick. Uh, I had a fever and I was really really out. I was lying down all day and fortunately I came back so I was uh, all ready to go this Saturday Sunday because me and Ivan hustled through the last parts of the new course that we released yesterday the bitcoin programming course that is out right now so if you are a student of our academy you can access the course by simply logging into your account and uh, i told everyone yesterday all the students that i emailed that this is perhaps the my favorite course that we've ever made i really enjoyed making this course and it contains so much knowledge that sometimes we just take for granted how bitcoin works and how transactions works and how they're actually coded so you'll learn how to do uh, for example, multi-sig transactions, time lock transactions from scratch. And uh, that's really interesting because that ties together with this week's video because the people over at Bitthumb got hacked. And uh, they were hacked again, I think, second time in just a year. And this time it was $13 million worth of uh, EOS that was hacked. And they should probably learn how to make multi-sig wallets and transactions so that they don't have these types of problems anymore. Well, that might be a little bit of a joke. They might have had multi-sig. Uh, I don't know. But either way, a hot wallet over at Bitthumb was hacked. $30 million worth of EOS was stolen. And people, people are talking about this being an inside job. And where are they getting that from? Well, let's, first of all, let's get into the story. Uh, because this comes uh, courtesy of CCN. And uh, they uh, published this story a couple of days back. And... Uh, and yeah, the news broke that uh, Bitthumb was hacked again, as I said, $30 million worth of EOS. And the last time it was $30 million. And people are now questioning, how can this exchange still be up and running? How can't they have implemented some sort of security features that has stopped this already? And uh, there was uh, quite a... Well, XRP was stolen as well. It gets worse. 20 million XRP, but I'm not a fan of XRP, so... Uh, we're not going to cover XRP, but either way, uh, Bitthumb official Twitter account wrote, We deeply apologize to our members for delaying the cryptocurrency deposit and withdrawal service. We would like to inform you of the circumstance of the grounds and confirm you that your assets are safe. Hmm, I wonder whose asset was it that was stolen if all of their customers' assets are safe. That's kind of weird. Um, and uh, they wrote as well, As a result of the internal inspection, it is judged that the incident is an accident involving insiders. Uh, based on the fact we're conducting intensive investigations with Kisa cyber police agency and security companies. Well, this is also supported by the fact that if, well, let me put it like this, if this was an inside job, then it was really nicely carried out and maybe by someone who had good connections in the EOS space because just a few days before, the EOS price pumped 15%. Made a huge pump upwards. And I don't know if it's connected. But like the day after. There is a bunch of EOS getting hacked. $13 million worth of EOS being hacked. And then that person sells those EOS after this huge pump. Is that a coincidence? Hmm. It's hard to say. But could be a very well maneuvered pump, hack and dump. I mean, really well done if that was uh, all orchestrated by these people. So the question is, EOS has all of these security measures installed. Right? They can use their constitution and the BPs can actually block uh, and blacklist transactions and wallets that they believe have been hacked so that the hackers can't spend these, uh, these funds. So are they, are they going to be able to do that? No. Because almost all of these funds have already been spent before EOS could do anything about it. They had been exchanged to other tokens and they have left the EOS ecosystem, at least most of them. So EOS is kind of powerless when it comes to uh, this situation. Because as long as people are very, very quick on selling their assets. And in this case, it was done on a platform that did not require any type of KYC for exchanging tokens. So that means that the hacker could easily 
get away with exchanging these for other assets and therefore escaping the regulations that exist within EOS. So how can, uh, how can Bitsum prevent these from happening in the future? Well, obviously have some organizational issues. This was not a technical issue, or maybe perhaps they could have fixed it with having better um, signature management or key management in place, because it should not be possible for one single employee to simply take all of the funds and uh, empty a hot wallet. Luckily, it wasn't the cold wallet, but even a hot wallet should not be able to be emptied by a single employee. Uh, so they obviously have something to work on. And it is weird that the same exchange being hacked just within a year back for $30 million is now experiencing the same thing again. Maybe it's not related to the same issue, but they really, really should take technical measures against this or organizational measures against this so it doesn't happen in the future because I feel bad for all of the bit thumb users out there that have their funds stored on exchange really really sad for them uh, but uh, I hope that we don't have to see any more of this in the future so if you like this video make sure to hit the thumbs up button if you didn't you can hit the thumbs down button uh, I think I have a really interesting week here of videos coming up, so hopefully I want you to stay tuned and make sure to watch every single one of them. I'm really, uh, keep, I really want to keep crushing it here on YouTube, uploading videos. I uh, really enjoy it. So thank you to everyone that is watching, commenting and interacting with these videos. I really appreciate every single one of you. Make sure that you get subscribed to the channel, click that little bell button, and I will see you in tomorrow's video.